first thing that we are is we're spiritual people, you know. But it comes in like say so we don't recognize that again in our communities. And because mm-hmm. and because we've lost that essence, that energy, we're just all over the place. We're just in the world with no spirituality, no guidance. I feel like if we can however you you know what I mean, whatever that spirituality is for you, but if we can get it back into a place where we're, 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 we're aware of that spirituality. I think more things will go a bit better for us. Because, you know what, other communities do that as well. Whether it's their Hindu or their Jews or whatever, they've got certain spiritual ties, you know what I mean, that lead that community. That we seem, you know what I mean, as I said, we're all over the place. We're in different, you know, we don't even agree on the Bible or whatever the situation is, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've got so many... Um, different views about it, you know what I mean? So that's why, I think when I was watching a video the other day, people are whining in church like they're in a dance. Like, what is that, though? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, you know, so for me, I'm, for in my own personal life, innit, I've kind of gone back to spirituality because I've been around, I've done Noir Po, I've done, I've done all, you know what I mean, Nation of Islam, all kind of things, and I've just come to find that, you know what, it's really about our spirituality, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. So, I believe that's where we also need to be as a community as well. Yeah, 100%. Like, I think, you know, there's a lot of people in our community nowadays who are moving away from spirituality into the realms of um, money worship then. Or, you yeah. know, we've got the, the likes of the atheist and, you know, we've got all different sorts within the community now. Whereas if we were to rewind time back, you know, I don't think there was such a thing as a black atheist 100 years ago. I don't think it existed. You know, I think, you know, even if we weren't directly Christian or Muslim or something that's recognized as one of the main religions of the world, you know, we were always spiritual people to some extent. And I think that, you know, I wouldn't, I'm not going to say it's a complete tragedy that we're coming away from being just spiritual, but I'd say it's a tragedy when, you know, it's frowned upon, it's starting to be frowned upon within our community. Yeah. Yeah. You know what as well, yeah? Just to add to that, yeah, cuz remember I'm I'm not religious or anything like that or but the way I see it, yeah, like you see like say a mum's gener my um grand generation and whatever, yeah. Yeah. Like church played a big part in the community and keeping the community together. Do you understand? 100%. Yeah. And now, yeah, we haven't got, like, there's, that has been, that has faded away. Yeah. And it's just like, it hasn't been replaced with anything or any, you understand? So just like what you're saying about us um, moving away from that, I think that has caused a that's 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 part of creating a void basically as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I remember, I remember like from I remember like the amount of my the amount of my mum's friends and my grand's friends that even just walking, even even just walking on the road, that you'll buck up and they they would know they would know when when my grand will carry me church. Yeah. All of the old heads will know whose whose grandson that is. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and then, you couldn't even get in trouble with them times there, because everyone knew it, you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and and um even us as youngsters at the church, we'll we'll all be we'll all know each other from there, from church. Yeah. You understand? And not only church, then we go to the community centre where we all know each other from the community centre and it's, it's just like all these things ain't there no more yeah no. you see what I'm saying yeah and even you see when you go to the church yeah like I said you gotta remember this you gotta remember yeah I ain't religious you understand yeah, yeah. I don't believe in any of it but I can see the positives that it brings you understand? So I'm not going to be close-minded to say it doesn't bring anything. You understand? Yeah? So, yeah, that's... that's. But you know what, what it is, is as well? Just to add to what you're saying, bro, 
in one sense, I'm not religious in that sense either. But what I do know is that, do we know when I say spiritual is that we got ourselves and we got our higher selves. Our higher selves is that being you can't see just to say, yeah? It's the one, in the, it's the invisible you, right? And if we tapped into that higher self a lot more, then I believe we can go a lot further, is my point, really. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even based on religion like that or, you know what I mean? It's just looking at us in a higher, higher level of things. Yeah, 100%. Because... Yeah, that's better. So basically, like, I wanted to say this, like, like I'm a I'm a man who calls myself an Israelite, but I don't call myself an Israelite because um, I believe in a religion. I call myself an Israelite by heritage, by history, you know, like that. And then when I get into religion, what I use religion for is to open a gateway to the realms of spirituality so that I can have an understanding, a deciphering of things that came before me. But one thing I'm not going to do with religion is I'm not going to force it down people's throats like, you know, this this Bible, this book is perfect and you have to go by every last thing that it says. I'm not going to do that to people. I'm going to say, yeah, you can find spiritual things in it. The same way you can find goodness in any book. There's good things in loads of books out there. So, you know, I'd advise everyone to read as much as you can. Read things and, you know, find the goodness in things. But for me to sit here and say to you that a transliteration is perfect, I think that's controversial in itself. So, you know, when we're dealing with these books, I think that's where we need to really be looking at them. Now that right, it's a transliteration, yeah, we can get some spiritual teaching out of it, and we can, you know, get closer to our spiritual side by utilizing the the, the good information that are in these books. But let's not get carried away with it and divide ourselves into subgroups, i.e., Christian, Muslim. I say, well, do you know what? I can't deal with those brothers over there anymore now because they're Muslim. Or I can't deal with those brothers over there anymore now because they're Christian. Or I can't deal with those brothers over there no more because, you know what? They're African spiritualists, you know? We need to be able to 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 still maintain the, 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 the structure and the togetherness within our community as well as be able to be spiritual and to practice our spirituality openly. You know, I think when it starts dividing us into little subgroups, that's when I have the problem.